Module 9.2, Pitch Discrimination, or Pitch JND. In Module 6, we determined that 1 dB was the just noticeable difference, or JND, that we could hear for changes in SPL. We also have a JND for our ability to distinguish whether two pitches are the same or different. We'll refer to this as pitch JND. First, Let's test your ability to discriminate between two pitches. Go to module 9.2 and click the link to take the pitch J and D test. On the video, you will hear 10 groups of four pairs of tones. You'll decide if the second tone in each pair is lower, the same, or higher in pitch than the first tone. The pairs are played quickly, so you'll have to make fast decisions. Listen to the pitch JND test in a quiet place with earbuds or headphones if possible. Start the video and adjust the volume to a comfortable listening level. Once you have set the level, restart the video to take the test. You'll make your choices below the video. Your results are going to be used for a survey. You'll be graded on participation, not accuracy. The class results will be collected and information reviewed later. JNDs depend on frequency, volume, duration of the sound, as well as the rate of frequency change. Also, musical training of the listener plays a part. Trained musicians will usually be able to detect much smaller changes in pitch than non-musicians. Pitch JND tends to be about 0.5% of the frequency for frequencies above 500 Hz, and greater than 0.5% for frequencies lower than 500 Hz. That means if the frequency difference between two pitches is less than 0.5%, it is difficult to notice a difference. To get an idea of what 0.5% frequency difference means, here are two tones that are 0.5% different in pitch at 880 and 885 Hz. Here are two piano notes that are 880 and 885 hertz. For another reference, the frequency difference between two adjacent notes on a piano, a musical semitone or a half step, is 6% and sounds like this. So, pitch J and D is less than one-tenth of the difference of the closest pitches on a piano. Here are the pitch J and D results of a previous class. As you can see from the graph, the ability to correctly determine a difference in pitch is below 50%, which is chance guessing at 5%. As it turns out, the critical band of the ear is about 30 times that of the J and D, so the slopes of the curves are almost identical. It is likely that our ability to distinguish pitch is related to the same mechanism in the ear. To review, pitch just noticeable difference, or J and D, is the limit at which we are able to notice that two sounds are a different pitch. The typical value for pitch J and D is 0.5% for frequencies above 500 Hz.